Hi, Jules Blessed Vegan. Welcome to day 89 of our 100 day countdown to the new year and a better version of ourselves. Man, who can believe time is passing? <laughs> I want to clarify this is not Jules 2.0. I have makeup on because it's picture day. <laughs> but, you know, I called this video No One, Nobody Puts Baby in a Corner because I can't believe how often people want to put us into a certain package to meet their needs, right? It's just crazy. So when I first started this channel, what, a whole 11 days ago, <laughs> People said to me, you know, you're going to have to step it up. You should wear makeup. Um, you know, you want to make sure you dress nice. Attractive people will get more followers. They're probably right. I barely have any followers. But I thought, I can't. You know, I can't. I have to be true to myself. Like, I dress simply so that others may simply dress. I mean, honestly, yes, I will dress up occasionally to fit an occasion. But I... I can't do it. Um, I'm really practical because I'm highly functioning. I could look like a china teacup in a corner, but that's not who I am. <laughs> so I was thinking, by all accounts, there's a ton of people that I shouldn't even be in touch with. But because of social media, I know these people again, sort of, right? I mean, like on my Facebook page, there's a ton of people from elementary school, even my kindergarten teacher, uh, people from certainly middle school, high school, and even college, my sorority, all these people. But do I even know them? I do not know them. I know of them. We were at a time in our lives that we shared. I'm kind of getting to know them, and some of them, I don't agree with their views at all, and they are all too comfortable to tell me they don't agree with mine. But I think what's important is that we do allow people to change, you know, that I don't have the mindset that, well, I knew that person back in grade school, so I know they're a certain way. Really? How about life happened for 30 years in between, and inevitably they have grown or changed, maybe became more lovely and maybe less. I'm not sure. But people change. And I think it's because I work with little third graders that I see them saying, well, in first grade, he used to. And in second grade, I know because. And I'm like, really, people? You're eight years old. We've already boxed you in. You're already in a corner. We've already decided who you're going to be for the rest of your life. Seriously? Praise God that God is in that way. Yes, God has the whole picture, but he granted free will. And with free will, we will change the landscape, right? We will make choices that he's surprised by or, or wish that we had gone in a different direction. I don't know. He loves us infinitely. But we do have some choices we can make. So I was just thinking, are there people in your life, are there people in mine that I've decided are a certain way and I'm not going to let them grow? I pray not. I do want them to be able to grow and change. And as long as we're breathing, there's hope. And it's the same thing. A lot of people aren't comfortable with me deciding to become vegan. I'm not becoming vegan to make them comfortable. I'm not being vegan to make them uncomfortable. I'm vegan because I realize that I've been, you know, killing animals to eat. I've been not just killing them, but how about those who are just abused daily? You know, statistically, it says that cows have to produce 340% more than their natural quantity of milk, um, you know, just to accommodate us. Do I really need that ice cream? Does it have to be from cow milk? Not likely. And don't even get me started on those poor chickens where they've cut their beaks off because they only have their one foot of space and nobody wants them to peck each other to death before they kill them, basically, right? Yeah, I know today's the second Sunday and a lot of people um, are doing that movement where you don't eat on the second Sunday to represent animals who are being abused on their way to slaughter. Like, can they have some food? Even in jail, you get a last meal, right? Anyway, whatever, it's all too big to change, but I do wanna be open to allowing people to change. And in my family, I want my siblings to be able to grow and be who they are without me deciding that they have to be a certain way because that's how they were when we were in the house 30 years ago, <laughs> right? I think we moved out 30 years ago. Okay, so what are you thinking about that? And for today, yay, day 89, I'm blessed, I'm well, I have my food planned, 
And I'm just happy to be on board with this. So thanks for being here. And until we talk again, be blessed. And don't put anyone in a corner.